Hello and welcome to yet another Dragon Pay Me tutorial. Now today I'm gonna um, say that I've had a few requests for iDVD um, because iDVD is something that uh, I didn't really get a get a grip of until very shortly. Hello and welcome to a Dragon Pay Me tutorial. Now I'm going to do um, a little tutorial on iDVD which I accessed by pressing Apple space and then typing in iDVD, click on iDVD etc. Um, and here we are. So I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed between the last tutorial that I made that was a couple of months ago and now. Um, there's been about 50 I think and I was like like I haven't been on YouTube for a long time and then all of a sudden I was like whoa what's all these people doing so thank you very much um, and I do apologize that I haven't made any kind of videos between then and now um, so I feel like I've got some subscribers and then they might have been a little bit disappointed because there hasn't been any new videos boo anyway back to the tutorial so thank you very much for subscribing okay I DVD um, okay so everyone's not stupid on a computer these days create new project is to create new project open an existing project is to find a safe project that you've already done I'm not quite sure what magic I DVD is or one step DVD maybe I'll keep them for a um, for a different tutorial um, I think one step DVD is more of like so you can capture direct from a camera um, if you don't have the media on your computer already but we're just going to create a new DVD and call it tutorial and we're going to give it widescreen as opposed of instead of standard because that's um, a different screen size don't worry about this if you get this wrong it's not going to change anything dramatically um, also um, you can also swap between the two in a DVD layer so create our project on the desktop and here it is already okay so this is a tutorial obviously um, the main theme has already started to play um, you've got the grey bit here that is your introduction this is where you can't have menus so if we just play that grey bit again and watch it it's actually like a kind of movement and animation to bring it into the menu okay so iDVD works on um, themes themes you basically pick a theme that you like the look of for the exa for an example uh, maybe this one and then you build on the theme um, with different buttons buttons and media basically that's it really media being audio photos and movies and buttons being links between the two so um, I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna get some media and I'm gonna use um, this random video here um, and drag it into the drop zone one and then as we can see in the menu um, the video is playing in the menu see what I mean the music's not the best for this one um, the video plays in the background etc and obviously you can put all your menus here um, so iDVD is a very simple drag and drop system so for example um, if you're gonna uh, actually I, I should develop this DVD a little bit more so once we've got this we're gonna add some buttons and um, maybe a main theme etc so you just easily easily go into the add button in the bottom left hand corner you click add and you get a menu so you can add another menu add a movie or add a slideshow so basically these are your links so we're going to add a link to a movie so we're going to add a link to the movie and then we're going to call it sorry we're going to oh, we're going to click our movie that we've just put in the background and drag it onto the button right and then we can give it a name so um, I can't remember what it was called um, oh, if we click it look look mal or something I don't know um, and then obviously we can change um, the font to whatever and the size to bold and all that rubbish as normal as just like a word document really so maybe that was a bit too small okay so once you've got your menu you can obviously click it and drag it and put it wherever you want um, just so you can kind of that's a that's a customized feel I mean a, a lot of uh, sorry no I was gonna say something that was totally irrelevant anyway so now if we preview our our DVD we can see the opening titles and the music are playing and then we can click that and then it should go out and then play the video okay so just click the cross to come out of it um, be careful not to click it twice otherwise you'll close your iDVD menu window 
right? So that's basically what your DVD is, a menu and then a link to the video that you're gonna play. So technically, if that's all you wanna do, you can end the tutorial now. Um, but we can go a little bit deeper and we can add a sub-menu. So this is a, another menu within the uh, DVD. You click the text and we call it sub one. Um, I keep pressing enter to uh, confirm it and we can move it, say, in a bit and then sub menu sub two click it sub two and then we can move it in a bit to match there right and just for the crack sub three click here sub three okay so now we've got three menus okay so that's great but it's just text pme how can i do anything with that right so obviously you're gonna go through and you're going to realize that you're going to have to plan your DVD before um, you get to this stage and you're going to think, oh, I want this, 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 and out of my DVD, um, unless you just want to mess around. But anyway, you see this button here, like three little televisions, a bit like the networking logo on Windows. Um, this, I think, I'm not 100% sure, it's called schematics view. And this is like a tree menu of how, um, how you want your DVD to be structured. So for example, uh, we've got our main menu, and from the main menu is linked a video called Gluckmal and the three um, sub-menus. So for example, uh, we don't want this sub-menu, um, sub-menu 2, to be on, no, so we'll start with sub-menu 3, because it'll make things, anyway, we don't want it to be on the main menu as a link, we want it on the sub-menu 2 as a link, right? So then we've changed it from uh, that to this. And if you notice, you click back on the main menu and click off your network and televisions. Uh, we can see that the link is gone. But when we preview our video and then click on submenu 2, uh, it animates and goes to that submenu. There, look, submenu 3 has appeared. So iDVD is something where you don't need to think about the menus and thinking about where the link is to and how the link is to, and why the link is to. You just drag and drop and make sure your schematics view, your, um, your tree menu looks the way you want it to look in terms of from this menu we'll want to go to these menus and then from this menu we we'll want to go to this um, this video from that menu we we'll want to go to that video and then if you notice when you go to these views and go back to your normal view instead of your little television thing you can go to your different sorry click preview the play button click preview and you can go to them menus um, like so easy peasy and you'll see the video as a link there and obviously you can edit the text and etc in your editing view if you click the cross we can go to our editing view which is this um, we can double oh, click it to change it to video one or whatever um, and obviously you can change that about um, so you can add photos and audio just in the same way you just drag and drop it wherever you want um, and that's pretty much it when you're done you press the burn button um, and then you can uh, obviously it'll come up with those there uh, some warnings during the DVD project and validation it is recommended that you fix these problems so you can um, obviously you have to make sure that all your, your, your DVD works so you're not going to get to the end of uh, um, a menu and then realize oh I don't have a link anywhere else so that's a useless menu so I can get rid of it obviously you can open the DVD map to try and solve these problems such as this explanation point here here and here um, and obviously if you highlight it tells you menu has an empty drop zone so if we go on to the menu we can see that at the drop zone here number two and three is empty so we can take our movies we can either put the same one on twice or we can take a different one and put them on like oh, like so just put that one back oops and we've got an error there saying it was too large so I'll put a different one on okay so there now we should have solved that problem uh, there we go, no error anymore. And that's one, once you've got rid of all your errors, etc. Um, you'll be able to quickly burn your DVD and you won't have to export it or anything. Um, and that's everything done in iDVD. Obviously, file save or Apple S, as this funny symbol says, file save, and then you're done. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching Dragon PME tutorial. Um, 
Hopefully I haven't gone gone over the time limit. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't tell you, does it? Anyway, but thank you very much for everybody who's subscribed and everybody who watches, if you've subscribed or not. Thanks again. Hopefully um, you've learned something in the DVD tutorial. Uh, if you have any more questions, please ask. Don't hesitate to ask me. Um, obviously, I can make 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100 tutorials um, on iDVD because there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, obviously we can uh, do things different ways via menus instead of drag and drop and using the keyboard etc but anyway um, that's iDVD in a nutshell hopefully you're going to make it, it sorry hopefully you're going to use it to make um, maybe portfolios or whatever for university or maybe you've just got a load of um, uh, videos on your computer you just want to bug on a DVD and that's a good way to navigate menus etc um, hopefully um, you've learned something and hopefully uh, you can take something away. If you haven't, I do apologize. And thanks again for watching another Dragon PME tutorial.